Hello, I'm Marco Palma, Director of Motor Drive System and Application at EPC, and I'm here in the Italy lab. Today, I want to show you the advantage of using gallium nitride inverters in motor drives. And for doing so, I will show two different setups and show the difference. Gunfet switch faster, smoother, and have zero reversal recovery compared to MOSFET. Operate at higher frequency, efficiently and reduce the time to value not achievable with other technologies. Faster and better switching opens the possibility of higher switching frequency motor drive to reduce and eliminate bulky electrolytic capacitors, reducing the dead time to increase the effective torque per ampere obtained from the motor. Net result is that GAN makes the system more efficient and allows integration within the motor, reducing weight and size. Typically, PWM frequency is between 20 and 40 kHz, while dead time is between 100 and 500 nanoseconds. Input cables are at least 10 to 20 cm long and become source of EMI, conducted and or radiated. So it is common to add an input EMI LC filter. Comparing electrolytic versus ceramic capacitor, remember that RMS current in the capacitor does not depend on PWM frequency while the voltage ripple instead does depend on PWM frequency. So electrolytic caps are sized with RMS current, while ceramic caps are sized with voltage ripple. 100 kHz operation is the sweet spot for ceramic capacitor ESR, bringing a clear advantage in terms of occupied volume, reliability cost and EMI. On the left, you can see the effect of 500 nanoseconds that time on motor operated at 20 kHz PWM. There are six discontinuities in the current circled in orange. These discontinuities are responsible of the sixth harmonic in the torque. It is an even harmonic, so it produces only vibration. On the right, you can see that by reducing the dead time to 14 nanoseconds, the discontinuities disappear and so does the sixth harmonic. The torque signal obtained with a torque speed transducer is analyzed with FFT. The sixth even harmonic of the torque signal that is present on the left when the dead time is 500 nanoseconds is completely absent when the dead time is reduced to 14 nanoseconds. So let's now do a real experiment on the lab and see it live. I will compare two systems, both at 36 volt DC, 5 amps RMS and 400 RPM. The one on the left with electrolytic capacitor and inductor and running at 20 kHz with 500 nanoseconds at time. The one in the right with ceramic caps running at 100 kHz with 14 nanoseconds at time. Here you see the setup in action. There is a motor running at 400 RAM PM and uh, there is a motor drive analyzer which is measuring the current the power in input and the power in the output. Here I have the inverter with the LC input filter running at 20 kHz with 500 nanoseconds at that time. The input power, which is measured by the power meter, it's 121 watt, and the output power is 119.5. And this is the ripple in the input voltage, and this is the ripple in the input current. This is the gallium nitride inverter running at 100 kHz PWM with almost no that time. And what, what it's really interesting to see is that even if I'm running 100 kHz, the power meter is telling me that input power is lower than the situation that I just shown before. On the left, we see the first setup running at 36 volt DC 5 amps of RMS motor phase current. When comparing to the setup 2, it is evident that all the ripples are definitely smaller than the original ripples in setup 1. Summarizing the overall effect, by running at 100 kHz, the gun inverter allows the usage of ceramic capacitor in place of bulk electrolytic capacitor. By reducing the dead time, it is possible to get more torque per ampere, making the motor more efficient, and thus making the system more efficient. For more information, please visit our website epc-co.com or subscribe to our EPC YouTube channel. Thank you.